light the shit up Kicking it at Hell on Wheels' house, checking out a little Street Beast this evening. Oh, just a little bit of it. He, he's, he wanted to uh, check out a fighter today. I, man, I didn't know about that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so my man, Dan, um, Daniel, my man, um, Alex, I checked out your boy, Prince KT. Um, man, you was in a wheelchair in the seventh grade. Um, you didn't learn how to move your head much then, did you? Um <laughs> Nah, I'm, I'm picking, yeah, I'm picking, I'm picking. Um, but hey, if you're the guy that wants to run that, bro, come on down to the OG yard and get that smoking. I mean, like, legit. Uh, we also spent some time watching some Street Beast Scrapyard. Ooh, that was a nice body shot. Um, we spent some time watching some Street Beast Scrapyard. I love the edits that Fire Chicken or whoever's editing his videos do where he's got some replays and highlights while the other fighters in the corner. I personally love that. Sorry, go ahead. I'm just waving at some people we got watching right now. He's got like one person. It's his mother. Two, you know what I mean? Two, like, you know what I mean? He's live over here on yeah, Instagram. Right. But we're uh, we're watching Hell on Wheels here. Run it right now with Wheels there, which was at uh, the last uh, Street Beast mm -hmm. event here. Um, you he, know, he got excited because he said that it said alternate angle. And he was like, I haven't seen this one yet. I was like, man, uh, I'm pretty sure it's on the same side, just to the right two feet. And then he started watching, and then he realized the angle is two feet to the right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So Iraqi, bro, like legit, alternate angle means other side or different, man, different in some way. Bro, he was standing right next to the cameraman. I was all excited. He ain't gonna lie to you. I was like, bet alternate angle, because I've been watching what I did in the first round of this fight. I'm not happy with my first round, but midway through the second round against Wheels, I felt like. Um, I started to find my body shot. Third round, you see, I duck all of his big elongated hook, um, and I just really started piecing him up the body. Um, definitely won that third round, no problem digging to the chest the whole time. Even then, worked up a couple head shots, uh, but it definitely left a lot on the table um, in that fight. I'm uh, looking forward to possibly getting a chance to run against him again uh, at the July event. Um, if you guys are interested in competing at the July event, uh, uh -huh. Street Beefs. HQ.com. Uh, everybody, guys in the chat, man, throw that hashtag Hell on Wheels Challenge. Yeah, Sunshine will send you where you need to go. I mean, I already did it with Sparkman. I mean, it's I've already trained wheelchair boxing, though. So when I say that it's intense for your arm workout, it's it's really arm endurance all the way. Um, I I mean, I hate to say it, guys, but like June 5th, I did get called out by uh, your guy, Pew uh, Trailer Park. Y'all might know him, Rough and Rowdy. Uh, he might have a matchup with a Prodigal Son. I cannot take this match for uh, for medical reasons for right now. Um, other than that, uh, y'all should see me in soon. I shouldn't be. I ain't gonna be sitting on no back burners. Should I do a wheelchair? Should you do a wheelchair match, man? What kind of question is that? Who, who's that? That's Chaz. Who's Chaz? Uh, let me see who Chaz is. Chaz. I don't know who Chaz is. Who's your fight name, Chaz? What's your fight name? Um, so we got Chaz over here on Instagram Live, man. He, he's talking about he should do no, a wheelchair match. No, I should. Everybody should do a wheelchair match. It's, it's wheelchair. wonderful strike stamina. It's going to help with the guard. Plus, like, when you fight Hell on Wheels, man, if you knock me out, you're going viral. you probably on ESPN no, the next day. <laughs> but see, look, that, but that's his persona. But what he's trying to do is knock y'all out. So he can go viral. <laughs> no, no, no. And I'm, I'm going to keep it legit with you. Now that the hair is getting long, man, those battle braids are those battle braids are on point, man. Um, so I'm digging the battle braids. Shout out yeah. Mama Williams for the battle braids. I cornered his fight. Oh, I cornered his fight. I cornered his fight. Who are we talking about? Who are we talking about? Here's Mark's his name. I can't read. I'm sorry. It's North. North. North function, you cornered my fight, March 20. Hey, bro, we'll look you up. If you want to run that Hell on Wheels challenge, here. Um, here. go ahead. Um, if you want to run that Hell on Wheels challenge, Quarter you already know fight. it's uh, streambeasthq.com. I think I know. Drop that know. hashtag Hell on Wheels challenge, guys. Let's uh, let's start trending somewhere, man. When you, when, you, when you get hit in the head a little bit too many times and the doctor tells you you got to slow down, get hit in the head, you know, it messes with your memory a little bit. So... Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> Look, if you just go over here and back up the H, hey, that way all you got, then yeah, you, you got to type the whole thing in. Nah, man, okay, I was just yeah. trying to educate. But yeah, really excited. Uh, June 5th, if there's anybody from Scrapyard looking to take a Hell and Wheels challenge, please let me know. I'll be available. I uh, have challenge in my corner there for that event as well. Really excited to have Fire Chicken and those guys come out. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm really ready to see these guys come out. Look, because I'll be honest with you, seeing somebody fight in person will change your perception of them. No. It'll change your perception of the actual fight. You know what I mean? An in-person bias, an in-person performance. Because no matter how good the cameras are and, and uh, the audio, nothing beats with that crowd interaction and nothing beats that just uh -huh. live. Um, especially when you're talking about a sporting event. So, uh, really looking forward to also just meeting those guys and, and, and fellowship and brotherhood with those fellas, man. Um, I, I think that'll be cool, um, you know, to meet people in different walk of life half across the did country. They, hey, did they spell that right on Street Beefs? Because I bet you they didn't. Yeah, we trying to look for you, man. We trying to look for you. Um, but I know how else to look for them. But we'll see you when you get back. Whenever it is you get back, old boy, come on out. No, Hello, I, I, I think I know who... I, Pretty sure I know who it is. So Challenge is trying to figure out who this guy is. Apparently he had cornered his fight back in March. So now Challenge is on a mission to figure to out. To find my dude. Yeah. His name is like knock something. I don't even know how to pronounce it. It's like N-O-C. <laughs> I don't even know. See, he I can't read either. I can't yeah. even read He fought Pitbull. He fought Pitbull. He fought Pitbull. Okay, oh. so search Pitbull. I know, I know. I think I know exactly who it is. Man, hey, Pitbull. I didn't say hey, it. Hey, Pitbull. <laughs> I, I, just, I just said I wasn't going to fight out of my weight class. But, man, I tried to call you at that bell. I was like, come on, Pitbull. Let me get that barbecue sauce. He didn't um, want it, though. Oh, man, you heard my dude right there. He, he, said, he, he didn't want the barbecue sauce. Because I'm telling you, man, I'm, I'm feeling like. No, yes, yes, yes. I knew it was. I knew, Nocturnal. Look, for some Nocturnal. Reason, all right. So okay. your profile picture on here, I, I was like, man, it looks so familiar. And Nocturnal, I was like, shout out. Yeah, shout out to Nocturnal. All right, man. now we know no, you, didn't get what, we here. you didn't get whooped. You didn't get whooped. You gave up weight. And you didn't get whooped. You don't get whooped when you give up weight. So, People man, we're, we're, that, we're, man, we're pulling up Nocturnal. Uh, versus Pitbull, and if I was one of them like smart dudes, I'd know how to picture and picture this and get the video in front of oh, you. Dude. But we ain't them people. So if anybody out there in the audience is them people with the video editing, holler at your boy. We don't make no money, yeah. but we can have a lot of fun. We could. We can make a I'll make this a lot more fun than what it could be. No, I no, yeah, I remember. He's two ten, okay. He's two ten, okay. Yeah, but Pitbull, man. Pitbull's a big homie. Pitbull's a big homie on the real. Yeah, but see, I the thing was he yeah two sixty five. The only thing I really wanted you to do one two move away. Yeah, pop pop walk away. Pop pop walk away. You get them tired. I, that's the thing with even people with a lot more muscle than you or even bigger than you. You can make them tired faster than you if you're smaller than them. You got a lot more energy that you can conserve versus them. But hell on wheels is smaller than you. And there ain't nowhere to you back can't, up. You can't and there out, ain't nowhere to back up. So you let's can't, go. You can't outpunch me though, hell on wheels. We already knew that. But we're 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 talking about <laughs> over here. <laughs> and that boy I see him, he's circling, he's circling, he's jabbing, he's one, two. Okay. Okay. He I, he he did a good job. He did a really good job. He just had this the circle more and just I guess it's cardio at this point. I, I wouldn't even say cardio. Like you, like you catching him with some good punches. Yeah, yeah. I think he's listening to some good. I mean, too. I mean, uh, cut your hair. You look like a hippie. No, no, I'm just kidding, no, bro. No, no. Um, don't hey, don't let him hate because he can't grow hair. Man, challenge is man. He can't get him curls right there. Y'all see him curls right there? Shout out to uh, Lord Bestermon, the second best looking man in the street beats. We're gonna be fighting over that. I'm tired oh, of him telling God. people he's the best looking dude in the street beats. Like, look at him shoulders right there. You see that? Look at him shoulders. I can't go talk, man. I mean, you know, you know, let them curls. I'm about tired of hearing Esteban talk that mess, man. We gonna wheelchair beef fight that out, young man. Though, I know. Watching, don't never turn I you back don't like turn that. You back. Don't never turn you back like that. No, I look like I got hit behind the head too. Huh? Yeah, see, like Ramsey yeah, well, you like, got hit behind the head because you turned your back. Don't you got turn your so back. just. Hopefully, I'm, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt. I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but I know you've probably been training since you you've been back after doing a street beast event, and if you've been Ooh. training. Yeah. And then if you've been training, I hope you've been. But Pitbull nah, is closing his eyes well, and turning his back. I know. It's kind of hard to, you know, coach somebody and you're seeing the person doing the same thing in the fight. But, um, just. You, <laughs> damn, Pitbull. Yeah, Pitbull is like. 
So this is a good fight regardless for you because this, like Pitbull, he'll fight anybody except for except Halloween. Except for Halloween Wheels. Except for Halloween Wheels. But um, he'll, he'll fight anybody and he'll give you a match. And like this this is like a pedestal for you right now. This is to see where you stand. You can improve. Nice, Pitbull, nice. Know, oh, Pitbull knows he can improve too. And that's the crazy thing about Pitbull. He might not have the best record in the world. Really. But... That man comes back, and he keeps fighting. I give him that respect for that. And yeah, uh, if progress proceeds, you will win a match eventually. There, there's no doubt about it. Um, and since you're like our only fan this evening, please <laughs> make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, Team yeah. Challenge Seven. Yeah, Team Challenge Seven. Um, but all you gotta do, hopefully, you've just been sticking and moving, just like doing the one-two and circle properly to be circle and pivot to be able to look at your opponent and not like one, two pivot and spin in a circle, like not like spin in a complete circle, but like lose your footing and just spin out of control. And right, and right there where you're at at 210, I really feel like you, uh, you know, if you want to take fighting more seriously, you need to figure out what you, what you're doing with your nutrition and where you truly want to fight at as far as weight. Yeah. Cause um, you could probably get down to my weight class. It I, to, looks like you could probably get down to my weight class, but then, uh, and you could just bulk back up if you feel comfortable fighting those guys. Like, I, I would, I, if I and, could bulk And that's the only reason I said you're 210 and you might get matched up with a dude that's, you know, 285. Uh, like you did there with Pitbull, man, or a guy like Space I, Monkey. Yeah. You know, those are just big dudes, man. I mean, it ain't or not one year, man. Weight moves weight, bro. It does. Um, That's why there's weight classes. Well, that's the end of that fight, man. I definitely want to uh, thank, thank you, uh... Nocturnal for tuning in and giving us something to talk about. I have to talk to this guy. I worked on footwork a lot. Um, I think because I liked beer. But the, the training came The guy's talking about it, um, how he uh, likes beer a lot. Maybe that's why he's at the weight class. He's, guys, alcohol Ooh. really packs on the calories. He lost 10 pounds, 210, 200. There you go. Uh, yeah, alcohol hey, you're really, still, you're really adds your weight, calories, guys. Think especially about this, if you sit down drinking five or six. If you go down in weight, too, you got to worry about speed. And you can't, if you go down in weight, you got to get your speed up because when you go down in the weight class, those people down there that are already in that weight class, they're already fast. Hey, speaking yeah. of getting your speed up, my man Moose, I'll be seeing you challenge these hell on wheels and challenge accepted. We'll be getting in on those. Trust me. Trust me. I'm just, uh. The, uh, the one dude. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. My man dude. Moose from Shimmy's West Coast. He had his machine that. gun challenge and all that stuff. I saw the machine gun challenge. Shout out to my man challenge. Moose. Shout out to Street Beats West Coast. Man. We can't wait to see you guys when let you me, come to the OG yard. Let me tell you about that machine gun challenge. That looked like a bunch of beats. Well, we, <laughs> we can't wait to see you guys when you come to the OG yard. Like Hopefully you can get us out to Cali where we can chill and hang out. My man Fire Chicken, we're really excited to meet you this upcoming weekend, man. Great edits that you're doing on your Street Beats Scrap Yard. Check him out. And as always, team, get that, get that money. money. Okay. Yeah.